Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. Why does a Linux distribution sometimes not come out of sleep mode, suspend mode, or hibernation? Not when the mouse is moved, or not when a key is struck. When you left or locked your machine and come back to it after a while, there will be a dark screen, but the computer is still running and simply refuses to spring back to life. Or in the case of a laptop, when you close the lid, it goes to sleep, and then when you open it up again, nothing happens. The only solution between quotes seems to be to hold down the power button for a few seconds to force the computer off and then restart. It appears to happen commonly across multiple Linux distros and not being specific to a particular distro. This video is nothing but an attempt going over various settings and configuration options you could try. It won't guarantee a solution, but you can certainly give it a go and maybe pick up a few new things along the way. If you are aware of another option or something else to check, or if it did or didn't work for you, please feel free to leave a comment. While researching the issue, the consensus appears to be that it can be traced back to power management settings, drivers, or hardware compatibility. By disabling power management settings altogether and completely ignoring low power modes, the system will effectively never go to sleep, suspend or hibernation, and you can bypass the problem entirely. Not sure if this is always feasible though. I will just go over the list of 12 different suggestions and a bonus at the end, and hopefully there is something in it for you to try. I am demonstrating this on a Lenovo ThinkPad T16 on Linux Mint, but a lot of it is not specific to Linux Mint at all and can be applied to pretty much every Linux distribution. Also for this video, I have to assume that you know your way around Linux at least a little bit and that you are not afraid of the terminal. Normally I will try to explain every little step, but this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial, more of a guidance type of video. Go into your computer's BIOS or UEFI and getting there will be different for every computer. In the case of my ThinkPad, I can interrupt the startup by pressing enter and then F1 to access the UEFI. This will be a little bit of back and forth between changing something, then trying out the results, change again and change again. This is because many different things can or they will not impact the problem and can cause or fix a conflict between the BIOS power state or power management and Linux. Try and look for Advanced Configuration and Power Interface Settings, also known as ACPI, the ACPI sleep states that are S0, this is the normal powered on state, S1 is the standby or suspend state, the S1 sleeping state is a low wake latency sleeping state, and in this state all CPU caches and memory contents will be retained. S2 and S3 are sleep or suspend to REM states. The S2 and S3 states are a low latency sleeping state, and the state is similar to S1, except that the CPU cache is lost, and memory contents will be retained on disk. S4 is suspended to disk, and the S4 state is the lowest power, longest wake latency sleeping state supported by ACPI. Memory contents are written to disk, and you can also call this one hibernation. And S5 is the power off state. There is a lot more to it, for example devices sharing power lines for wake on USB, but this is just a simplification of the ACPI sleep states. Most of the not coming out of sleep issues appear to be with the S4 state or hibernation. There are a few requirements for proper S4 support. Wake on LAN, wake on USB, and vendor specific power features. In the case of a ThinkPad, they will be Lenovo specific. We will touch more upon them later. Update your BIOS or UEFI through your hardware manufacturer's website because maybe there was an issue with sleep and resume and that is already fixed. In this case, the answer is not on Linux, but on the actual BIOS or UEFI and how the hardware is addressed by it. The desktop management interface, DMI, generates a standard framework for managing and tracking components in a computer. DMI Decode is a tool for dumping DMI and BIOS UEFI content into a human readable format. The command sudo dmi decode t system can be helpful. For example, the wake up type is listed. Now let's install the ACPI and ACPI tool utilities. sudo apt install ACPI ACPI tool. 
The ACPI command shows battery status and other ACPI information. And ACPI tool allows you to query and also set ACPI values. And it comes with a lot of options. By default, it won't show that much, so don't be fooled. But just an example for getting fan information with the DESF option. Study the documentation or the main pages for much more information and try to research things with these utilities. Also try to disconnect any USB devices so it's just a computer or laptop and work like that for a little while to check if the problem is still there. It might be that a Wacom USB is not functioning properly for a specific device. Wake up triggers are events that can wake up the system from any of the power saving states. For example, the power button, opening a lid on a laptop, wake on LAN, wake on USB, moving a mouse, etc. These are configured in the file proc acpi wake up. You can try to disable USB wake up. Sometimes USB devices, like the mouse or the keyboard, can prevent proper sleep or wake up. Let's disable this for the device XHC0 by typing echo, double quote, XHC0, double quote, pipe, sudo, t, proc, acpi, wake up. Check the file again and it will now read disabled. Another case of trial and error until the problem is fixed. In the case this is a laptop and there is an external screen connected, disconnect it and try to work like this to see if the problem persists. You can also try to play around with kernel parameters by editing the grub configuration. This is being demonstrated on Linux Mint, so adjust accordingly if you have to. Edit the file etc default grub and find the line grub command line linux default and add the kernel parameters acpi underscore sleep equals non vs. The non vs option tells the kernel not to save and restore the non volatile storage area during suspend and resume. You can also try resume equals uuid equals and then the uuid of your swap petition. This parameter is a kernel boot option used in Linux systems to specify the swap partition or swap file to use for resuming from hibernation. Replace the swap partition UUID with the UUID of your actual swap partition. You can find it with the command blkid. You can use both of the kernel parameters one by one or a combination of both. Type update this group to apply any changes you have made. Update all the drivers by running the driver manager or equivalent on your Linux distro. Update your packages repository. Upgrade all your packages. If available, run the update manager or similar. And if there is an app store, go in there and try to upgrade everything from there as well. If you have an integrated GPU, try disabling any discrete GPU. If this is a desktop computer, you could even go as far as to remove your GPU physically and see what happens. Now for another file to play around with. The sleep mode behavior is configured in the file etc systemd sleep.conf. When your Linux distro has troubles with ACPI modes S2 or S3, you can test alternative modes as displayed on screen now. Research this or check the manuals. After a failed resume where you had to power cycle the machine, try looking for errors or warnings related to power management or drivers by studying the systemd journal logs journal ctl dash b dash one pipe grab suspend and research the kernel messages with dmesg pipe grab suspend
and of course play around with power management options through the desktop manager. In this case again on Linux Mint but adjust accordingly. Go to the settings and then power manager in the menu structure. Our suggestion is to always try to test with hibernate instead of suspend. Because hibernation, suspend to disk, may be more reliable than suspend to RAM. You might also want to play around with screen saver settings. Now let's do another file, why not? The file etc systemd logind.conf configures the behavior of the logind service, which manages user sessions, power settings and device access. It allows customization of actions for power buttons, lid switches and idle handling. Let me try to handle the closing of the lid differently. The option to suspend the memory and also write to disk as a fallback. And this method can sometimes improve the reliability of your system resumes. Again, you will have to read up on the documentation for all the options, as there are just too many options and too many different scenarios. To apply any change made, type sudo systemctl restart systemd slash logind. The next one might sound surprising, but check your specific combination of NVIDIA drivers and Linux kernel. People reported running into issues and after downgrading or upgrading the NVIDIA driver or the Linux kernel to break that specific combination, it then worked. Also, there are specific NVIDIA suspend, NVIDIA hibernate and NVIDIA resume commands and services for specific Linux distros, for example Arch Linux, or for specific NVIDIA cards. This is also mentioned and listed in the NVIDIA support documentation. And this is one for if you really know what you are doing and you are able to revert back in case of issues. Sometimes issues are specific to the desktop environment. If possible, test using Mate or XFCE if you are on Cinnamon or Gnome, or switch the display manager to LightDM if you are now on SDDM. You can check your current display manager, cat etc x11 default dash display dash manager. Or you can install a new display manager and then switch to it with sudo dpkg dash reconfigure. And that's it. As I mentioned before, if you are aware of any other option or something else to check, or if it did or didn't work for you, please feel free to leave a comment. Hope it helped. Until next time. Bye.